Join us on an adventure from Suwanapum Airport in Bangkok to the futuristic city-state of Singapore, with a stop at the sparkling gem of Jewel in between. Get ready as we navigate our way through these amazing destinations. Follow us as we share our tips and tricks for making the most of your trip, and get a behind-the-scenes look at what it's really like to travel in Southeast Asia. So pack your bags and come along. Before we embark on this incredible journey, there was a lot of planning and preparation involved. We had to book flights and accommodation, make sure we had all the necessary visas and vaccinations, and of course, pack our bags. To find the best deals on flights, we recommend using a price comparison website or setting up price alerts. You can visit flights.google.com for more information. It's also a good idea to book your flights as far in advance as possible to get the best prices. When it comes to accommodation, there are so many options to choose from, ranging from luxury hotels to budget hostels. In terms of visas and vaccinations, it's important to do your research and make sure you have everything you need before you travel. Some countries may require a visa for entry, and certain vaccinations may be recommended or required depending on where you are going. Packing can be a bit of a challenge, especially if you're planning to be away for a longer period of time. Our advice is to make a list of everything you think you'll need and then edit it down to the essentials. It's better to travel light and be able to wash clothes along the way than to be lugging around a heavy suitcase. We arrived at Suwanapum Airport, Bangkok's main international airport, bright and early on the day of our departure. Located about 25 kilometers or 15 miles east of the city center, Suwanapum Airport is a modern and efficient transportation hub with flights departing to destinations all around the world. As we are headquartered in Bangkok, it was convenient for us to start our journey here. However, if you are coming from elsewhere, there are plenty of transportation options available to get you to the airport. You can take a taxi, the airport rail link, or one of the many bus routes that serve the airport. Just be sure to give yourself plenty of time to get to the airport, as traffic can be unpredictable. Once we arrived at Suwanapum Airport, we checked in for our flight, dropped off our luggage, and went through security. Before we knew it, we were boarding our plane and getting ready to take off. As the plane lifted off the ground and soared into the sky, we couldn't help but feel excited for the adventures that lay ahead. Next up, Singapore. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm excited. Are you excited yes. to go to Singapore? Yeah. Okay, we'll go to Universal Studios. As we landed at Changi Airport in Singapore, we knew we needed to get a SIM card to stay connected during our trip. The airport offers a variety of SIM card options, but we were looking for something more budget-friendly. We were offered a SIM card for 35 Singaporean dollars, but we decided to see if we could find a better deal elsewhere. After a bit of searching, we came across an option on Klook for a SIM card for just nine Singaporean dollars. We decided to go for it and claim the SIM card at the SIM card station at the airport. The process was quick and easy, and we were soon connected to the local network. 
In addition to a SIM card, we also purchased a transportation card or EasyLink for 12 Singaporean dollars with a $5 consumable load, which allowed us to access the public buses and trains in Singapore. This proved to be an extremely convenient and cost-effective way to get around the city. You can top up or add funds to it. 20 Singaporean dollars is more than enough for a three-day stay. Overall, we were glad we did a bit of research and shopping around before committing to any one option. It paid off in the end as we were able to stay connected and get around the city at a more reasonable cost. some fun facts about Jewel in Singapore for you. Are you ready to be wowed? This complex is a real jewel in the crown of Singapore and designed by the talented folks at Moshe Safdi Architecture. But that's not even the best part. Jewel is home to the world's tallest indoor waterfall, the Rain Vortex. It's a staggering 131 feet tall and it's truly a sight to behold. In case you're wondering, there are also 280 retail and dining outlets at Jewel, including popular international brands and local food vendors. Did you know there's a 130-room Yodelair Hotel on site? It's our first Yodel Hotel located in an airport, which just adds to Jewel's cool factor. It's no wonder that this complex has won numerous awards for its innovative design and has become a must-see destination for travelers and locals alike. As soon as we arrived at Jewel, we were struck by its futuristic appearance. It was like stepping into a virtual game world with sleek glass and metal surfaces everywhere we looked. But the real showstopper was a rain vortex, the world's tallest indoor waterfall. As we approached the rain vortex, we couldn't help but feel a sense of awe. It was truly an amazing sight, with water cascading down from the ceiling in a mesmerizing pattern. We stood there for a few moments, just taking it all in. It was hard to believe that something like this could exist in the real world. But the futuristic feels didn't stop there. As we walked around Jewel, we were amazed by the high-tech amenities and the smooth operation of everything. Even the trains passing through the complex have a virtual game world vibe, with their sleek design and smooth movement. Well, that concludes our adventure from Bangkok to Singapore with a stop at Jewel in between. We hope you enjoyed coming along with us and learning about these amazing destinations. We were truly impressed by the sights and experiences we had on this trip. From the bustling streets of Bangkok to the futuristic city-state of Singapore and the sparkling gem of Jewel. We hope our tips and recommendations help you plan your own trip and that you feel inspired to visit these amazing places for yourself. Thank you for joining us on this journey. If you liked this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. We'll be sharing more travel adventures in the future, and we'd love for you to join us. Until next time, happy travels, and see you in the next one.